Hello and welcome to Lydia Hawk Designs. We're going to cover our top left wing of the Freeform Crochet Monarch Butterfly from beginning to end because, thank you Becky, uh, someone messaged me and said they did not understand what I was doing from the very beginning. So we're going to do this step by step really slow so you can see every single thing that I do. And this wing also covers pulling your work forward. So this wing covers everything else in the instructions for every other wing. So let's start with color A, chain eight. And you know, I take for granted that I learned how to crochet and work the chain spaces a certain way. So I think it's important to note how I do that. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not including the loop on our hook. So we've got eight and then it says with B, chain one. Make sure I got a nice tail here for weaving in the ends and then chain one. All right, so let's look at the anatomy of our chain space. The chain forward is clearly two pieces of thread on top. In the back, there are these little bumps. When you go in to work your stitches, you'll want to go in through the top and middle, or this bump in back, you want to go through the top two. So our instructions say, with color A, into first color A chain from hook, and I always count, um, so it says single crochet one pulling B through. So whatever the chain space instructions are, it's like the very first, it says chain eight. So we have eight spaces to work with. This one color B on our hook is the lift we need for our first single crochet. So I'm gonna count eight to make sure I'm going through the right one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I wanna go through this one and I wanna start my single crochet making sure I go through the top and that little bump in back. And then I take my color A, pull it through. And then with B, just make sure it's snug on the hook. I pull B through. So I worked one single crochet, starting with color A, but pulling B through. And I wanna make sure no matter what, that my chain is straight as I go. So I can see it, it's beautiful. I pull color A from the back of this, and I'm gonna go ahead and count, make sure I go into the seventh chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven. Next it says, with a half double crochet one, pulling B through. So I'm gonna yarn over for a half double crochet. I'm gonna go in through the top and middle strips of thread. I'm gonna pull through, and because it's a final step, I'm gonna pull B through the final three loops. And my chain space is still straight, still in front of me, everything looks good. With a two half double crochet pulling B through. So I'm gonna work an increase now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm on the sixth chain space. I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna go through the top and middle loop. I'm gonna pull B through. I'm gonna do it again through the same space because it's an increase. Number is before the type of stitch, so that means increase. Then it says with A, two double crochet pulling B through. So I'm gonna work an increase with the double crochet. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one, B goes through the final two loops, and then I work that same space again, double crochet, pulling B through the final two loops. Then it says, with A, double crochet four. So the stitches first, the numbers last. This is just four in a row. One, two, three, and four. And then it says, with B, which is black, in same chain space, double crochet one. So the same one we just worked, we're working an increase with black only. Cut yarn. I'm gonna leave a nice tail for weaving in the ends. And then bind off. And then I'll just pull that through to secure it. So we've got a nice, pretty first row. You can see it's got that nice detail Row two, with B in fifth stitch from left slip stitch. So this is a knot, by off knot. We're not using that. We want stitches only. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna go into the very fifth one with that just the color A peeking through. We're gonna pull this through before we do anything else. Place a marker. So the marker goes around the thread on the hook only. So right there, it's the base of our hook, just thread on the hook. So we place our marker so that we, we can keep track of our pattern. Then it says chain one, so I'm gonna chain one. In back loops is in parentheses, so this means for the remainder of our stitches, we're gonna work the back loops because that creates this nice vein of detail here. This is just a thin line. If this was a full single crochet row, it would be really thick. With A, double crochet two together, pulling B through final three loops. In our very next stitch, back loops only, we need to start a double crochet and work a decrease. Pretending that color A is already on our hook for this, I'm gonna wrap this thread around, leaving a nice tail for weaving in the ends. I'm gonna hold it in place with my finger and thumb. I'm gonna go into the back loop of the very next stitch and I usually have to point my hook at the back loop and then use my thumb open it up. I'm going to pull through once. Now this is going to flop around, so I'm going to hold this against the hook nice and tight, pull it through once, yarn over, go through the back loop of the next stitch, pull through, only pull through two, and then with B, which I'm going to make tight against the hook now, pull through the final three loops. Then it says, with A, two double crochet. So that's an increase. So I'm going to yarn over and go through the back loop. Pull B through. 
I'm going to do that again. Now I'm going to work one, it says with A, double crochet one, pulling B through, so back loop. And then it says, with B and same stitch, double crochet one. So this is an increase with just B. Then it says cut yarn and bind off. We've got two rows that's looking very pretty already. Row three, with B in fourth stitch from left, slip stitch, place marker, chain one. So one, two, three, four. Slip, stitch, place marker. chain one. In back loops, with A, two double crochet pulling B through, so that's an increase of so the very next back loop of the next stitch, we're going to double crochet one, I have to hold that down, And then because it's an increase, I'm going to do it again. With the very same stitch, pulling B through. Then it says, with A, double crochet two, pulling B through. So this is just two in a row, not an increase. And then with B and same stitch, double crochet one. So an increase at the end here. Cut yarn, bind off. Now we've got three. Row four. With B in second stitch far right, slip stitch, don't chain one, place marker. So we've got one way down here. You can see color A peeking through. We're going to go through the second one. Slip stitch, place marker, do not chain one. Just right on the base of our hook. In back loops, meaning for the remainder of the row, with A, so color A, single crochet two, pulling B through. So two in a row. We don't have to yarn over, so let me find the next one. Back, I'm going to go through the back loop. Don't worry if things get a little loose, you can tighten as you go. So that's one. And then I'm going to tighten up color B and pull it through the last two loops. I'm going to perform one more single crochet in the next back loop. Then it says, With A, half double crochet, one pulling B through. So with A, 
half double crochet one and we pull B through the final three loops with a double crochet one pulling B through so yarn over through the back loop start and one and then two then it says remove marker now this one will want to be a little loose keep your eye on it you can always tighten it up from the back back here this is a triple crochet so we're going to yarn over with a two times one two go through the back loop and then one two and then tighten up b and pull that through the final two loops then we're going to double crochet one it says with a double crochet one pulling b through so the very next one before our marker one and then pull b through then it says remove marker so keeping our eye on that st stitch right there half double crochet one pull B through you can tighten that one up too from the back just make sure it's snug all of this will get tightened up when you weave in the ends but as you go it helps to make sure everything is tight don't uh, pull too hard then it says with B which is black single crochet two together so the very next one is here one two You are leaving three unworked stitches at the very end. That's right. We can count them and see that's true. One, two, three. Good. Place marker right at the base. Cut yarn. We're going to cut both. And then with black, bind off. we've marked that space for a reason so we're good row five with B and first stitch far right slip stitch so next to our marker space we're going to go in with B slip stitch just gentle place marker then it says remove marker because it's the next one this is just so we can keep our place more than anything and then it says single crochet eight so going through that very next marked space we just remove the marker from one two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight little pieces of thread will want to get in the way just got to be patient 
Okay. So it says place marker, remove marker. So let's just do that. I think I meant to do it the other way so that you could remove the one and put it right back on your hook, but let's just do that. Place marker, remove marker. Then we're gonna single crochet three. And then three in the last, it says single crochet three. And then it says last stitch, three single crochet. And it says in last stitch, so it says that twice. So we've got four. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna single crochet three, which means we kind of skip that knot we were had marked. Two, three, and then three into the last. So this is our increase. One, two, three. And this is how we get the lift on our wing here to get that nice lift in the corner. Chain one, place marker, and turn. Okay. In order to do what I'm doing here, I have to kind of crochet in reverse. So it says single crochet one. So right in that very first single crochet space there, right below our marker. We're gonna go in, we're gonna single crochet one. Then it says, bring B around to front of work before continuing. So in order to make sure we don't get color B as a line through our work, we pull it to the right. We take color A, it says pulling A through. So we're gonna finish with A. So we're gonna finish Oops, I'm snagging my work here. Got to start over. So we go through the first one, pull our work forward, black goes to the far right. Then we pull A through, and then we pull A forward. So that tail needs to come forward as well. And from here on out, we're going to single crochet three, and we're just gonna tighten black and orange over here, the tail and our first strip of color B. One, two, three, and then we're gonna pull orange right to the front, and then crossing over the top, we're gonna pull B through because it's loose right there, we can just use it, but we need to make sure that orange is out of the way first. Then it says, slip stitch two together, turn. So, and we're not gonna remove our marker. So while not removing our marker, we're gonna go into one, the first one, we're gonna go into the second one with the marker, and then we're gonna pull through the two loops on our hook. So this is not a single crochet, it's just slip stitching and then we're turning. Now we're gonna skip that first color B stitch and work three into the next color A stitches. So one, two, three. Remove our marker. and then three into that one. So an increase, one, two, three. So we get that nice lift in the corner. Then it says, single crochet 12 evenly along chain spaces along left edge. So as you can see, we have 
a bar of color B here, a bar here, and a bar here. We need 12. So with three of these, it's safe to say we can work four in each bar to get all the 12 we need. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to go into the next bar, moving loose thread out of the way. One, two, three, four. So that's eight. And now we just need four more for 12. One, two, three, four. And I don't want to cover up our bottom stitches here because now we want to work into the bottom row. So where we went into our chain space through the top and middle stitches, now we've got this nice, even, clean bottom stitch lined up ready to work. And they're eight, so we're going to single crochet eight along the color A chain stitches bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That last one's a little small. So if you need to just cheat and go through a wider part of it, that's fine. Although I don't like the way that looks. I want more orange showing through. I'm going to go through this one. There we go. Okay. Remove marker. So keeping our eye on this marked space here, this marked stitch, we're going to remove that. And then we're going to two single crochet. So we're going to make an increase here. So one, two, single crochet seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the reason we've got this marked is because this is where our first bit of color C is introduced. Remove marker. With C, half double crochet one, pulling B through. So holding it over as if it's already being used, we go through that stitch. I'm going to tighten it down on my hook here. And then with B, I'm going to pull through the final three loops. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and cut a nice long tail. And then it says with B, well, it doesn't say with B, but since we cut color C, we're not using it anymore. We've got B on our hook, so it says single crochet one before knot, so there's a tiny little knot there. So we're going to single crochet right into the st stitch before that, one right into the one after that. That was our slip stitch two together. Then we've got clearly three full stitches to work right after that. So it says single crochet three. So one, two, three. Then in our very upper leftmost corner here, we're going to create an increase. So it says two single crochets. So into the same one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, then we're going to chain one, which creates our height for our half double crochet. Then it says with C, half double crochet one, pulling B through. So hold it in place, go into the next stitch, pull through. I'm going to tighten this down with my fingers and then pull B through. Then it says double half double crochet one. So with B, yes, half double crochet one. And then it says repeat from star to star or asterisk to asterisk four times. So we start with color C, yarn over, pull B through. And then with B, yarn over. That's one. Two. Three. Four. So we did that four times. Then it says with C, half double crochet one, pulling B through. In same stitch, half double crochet one. So in the very same stitch we just worked, we're going to work one more with B. And then it says single crochet 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, And then we cut our yarn. In this case, we've got color C and color A. Bind off. And we have a full, complete butterfly wing with a whole bunch of ends to weave in. And as soon as I can make the other three, I will, but this should be perfect for understanding the instructions for the rest of the wings because they contain the exact same instructions except for pulling your work forward.